Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. People often confuse data fabric with data virtualization. Data fabric and data virtualization architectures are two different methodologies companies use to derive value from data and tend to new business needs. Both methodologies provide real-time, agile, and self-service insights across data silos. And with the introduction of new and unique architecture frameworks and data management solutions, segmenting the similarities and differences can be overwhelming, leading to various search strings, and these include data virtualization versus data federation, data fabric versus data mesh, and data virtualization versus data fabric. In today's video, we're going to look at data virtualization and data fabric and understand their differences to see how virtualization fits into the data fabric architecture. As always, if you find this topic interesting, then you can let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. You can also let us know if you find it interesting by saying so in the comments section down below. Now let's jump into it. The need to modernize data architectures in organizations. Companies that lack modern analytics tools and processes hold vast data repositories across different business lines. Since the majority of their work systems are legacy-based, collecting and sorting the relevant information required for analytics could take a significant amount of time, even weeks, with additional help from engineers and developers. Bringing new systems into the organization that runs on modern technologies could restructure the entire ecosystem, something that could take months to complete. By the time you're actually able to get the project live, the technologies will have undergone numerous upgrades. This is where data virtualization comes into the picture. It's the key to modernizing data architecture in the organization. The major issue here is frictionless data access, which data virtualization specializes in providing. On the other hand, Data Fabric offers a simplified data management solution by providing an advanced platform that supports all technologies and runs on all systems across the company. Such a unique platform also cuts down organizational silos. It also promotes quick, well-informed, and self-service decision-making with the help of multiple data sources. Now let's look at Data Fabric versus Data Virtualization. You shouldn't confuse Data Fabric with data virtualization. Data virtualization builds a data abstraction layer and is required to integrate data silos easily and quickly. It collects, connects, and modifies data from multiple sources, including cloud and on-premises, for real-time, agile, and self-service insights. Data virtualization provides connectors to multiple data sources. Also, it organizes data for dashboards, visualization, and broader areas of content. Data Fabric provides comprehensive and meticulous data management solutions to support broader applications and use cases. So to put it simply, it refers to the end-to-end -end data management solution required for IoT analytics and customer and business intelligence. Fabric provides an integrated, consistent user experience and access to data across the organization, making it the perfect solution to manage vast data sources. However, you need more elaborate planning if you want a high success rate with data fabric architecture. This is why you need a team of data enterprise architects, software developers, data security professionals, and business analysts to implement data fabric architecture. Most differences between data virtualization and fabric architectures revolve around the applications supported by the fabric. For example, data fabric uses customer 360, IoT analytics involving the use of stack components, fraud detection, data science and analytics, global analytics and real-time analytics. On the other hand, data virtualization is used for business intelligence, ad hoc queries, reporting, and visualization across distributed data. Researchers and analysts state data virtualization is one of the major tools that promote your data fabric architecture. Using more data virtualization tools, you can build your solution into a data fabric pertaining to your business objectives. So let's have a look at some data virtualization use cases. The majority of companies have data spread across the cloud and distributed systems, including data warehouses, data lakes, and data stores. So some of the major use cases of data virtualization include virtual data warehouse. Data warehouses are easier and faster to install since you don't need to move data across systems physically. Virtual data lake. Just like virtual data warehouses, virtual data lakes are easier to handle since they provide high precision, seamless integration, minimum to no code analytics, and quick data access for users. Self-service analytics. When management professionals run analytics across data silos, it lowers the burden on technologies, including researchers and scientists, and thereby accelerating the process of deriving value from data. It also accelerates the deployment of virtualization applications powered by analytics. And data catalog. 
Data catalogs with modern data management features provide frictionless access to members of an organization. This means all data gets uploaded and updated in real time along with relevant context. Some lesser known advantages of data virtualization include facilitating legal initiatives, simplifying data discovery, and enabling data democratization. And now let's look at data fabric use cases. Data fabric is a technology centric architecture framework. Its centralized access to all data in the organization makes the data in that distributed ecosystem interoperable. This also eliminates the extra time involved in locating and understanding data and conducting basic analysis. So the fundamental use cases of data fabric translate to high speed implementation and use of technology, data democratization, machine learning, data discovery, and predictive and prescriptive analytics. These are some of the major applications of data fabric framework. So let's dig a little bit deeper into them. Machine learning. Data fabric architecture accelerates the process of integrating data, making data in a distributed environment available for further analytics. This is done using machine learning models and algorithms. And now data democratization. Since Data Fabric provides centralized access to data, automating different aspects of data analytics becomes possible. So users can easily derive insights, track numbers, and create reports without the intervention of tech specialists like data scientists and engineers. A Data Fabric architecture complemented by data virtualization can help companies and businesses deliver actionable insights quickly and rapidly. In addition to this, the centralized platform built on the Data Fabric architecture makes data discovery and interpretation a brief for both business and technical users. Rather than choosing between data fabric and data virtualization architectures, companies should develop a model that best uses both concepts. So there we have it. A look at understanding the differences between data fabric and data virtualization. Once again, if you found this video interesting, don't forget to let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.